And we are back in Russell at Mechanized Concept Kansas, and joining us is State Representative Troy Waymaster from Bunker Hill, and he represents the area of Russell and, the, and many of the, the rural area uh, here, and we've talked in previous conversation about this Mechanized Concept, Concepts Kansas coming. Let's yes. spend a little bit of time about uh, uh, the, the legislative process and how, you know, we've kind of talked about how we got to this point. But uh, this first season's kind of out of the way. Uh, have we learned some things? Are we still uh, going to learn more of how uh, how what's going to go on in Kansas uh, will work with a company like Mechanized Concepts Kansas? Well, in 2017, we passed the uh, Industrial Hemp Research Program. And that was after the 2014 Farm Bill that allowed states to go ahead and have a research program for industrial hemp. Um, and so I was asked to serve on the Industrial Hemp Advisory Committee with the Department of Agriculture by uh, then Secretary Jackie McClaskey. And so at first, what we were trying to do is just trying to wrap our hands around the legislation that was passed by the legislature. And a lot of the things that we mimicked from the state of Kentucky when they instituted their industrial hemp program. Um, so we're still in the, in the learning phases uh, right now. Actually, we're having our first harvest uh, this fall uh, in regards to the industrial hemp program. Um, but we have changed that in the 2018 legislative session uh, where we have changed that to a commercial hemp program. And so we're trying to move forward now and see exactly how we change it from an industrial hemp program to commercial hemp. Um, and so right now we're still having the meetings uh, with that transition from industrial, industrial hemp to commercial. Is, there, is that a big change or does this mean more opportunity, say for Kansas farmers and, and companies uh, like the one we're at? There are a lot of big changes. Uh, probably the biggest that uh, the farmers will see or processors or distributors is the application process itself. When we were in the industrial hemp program, uh, as far as our pilot research program, the application to get a license was pretty extensive. Um, you had to basically outline what are you going to research? How are you going to quantify your data? Um, and so we had to go through all of those applications and approve or deny uh, based off of the information that was submitted by the uh, particular individual. Um, that application process is pretty much going away. Uh, you're not going to have to have this extensive um, application process. Also, uh, the application fee and the licensing fees are being adjusted. Um, there was no state money appropriated for the industrial hemp program, uh, and so it's being maintained by the Department of Agriculture. Um, so it does have to pay for itself, just like any other program uh, with the Department of Agriculture. And so there will be an adjustment as far as the fees that one would be assessed in wanting to uh, grow commercial hemp. And again, uh, I don't th you, think you had it on your farm this year, but, but, the, but no. the season for hemp is you plant it in the spring like any other spring crop and you harvest it around that first of October. Is that right? I would probably say that the, the time frame is very similar to sorghum or milo. Uh, you know, plant it in, in May, maybe the first of June, but when you get into June, you're coming to the end of the planting season, and then it's harvested around uh, late September, October. Good. Looking forward to hearing more about uh, hemp in Kansas. <laughs> Representative Troy Waymaster has joined us. Stay with us. We're in Mechanized Concepts, Kansas, in Russell. We'll be back with more after a bit. <laughs> 